Hey guys, it's good to see you again. I'm Lunactic Ice, and today I did a more traditional art, which I'm more comfortable with. Towards the beginning, I ended up really struggling to start. At this point, I had already started because I sped up the video, but towards the beginning, I like laid my head down because I was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I have camera shy. I have camera shy. That doesn't make any sense. Oh well, we're gonna roll with it. So. My process for digital art is a little all over the place, and I never go, well, sometimes I do. Eventually I'll get to one where I have a more structured plan for what I go into it with, but for ones that I just do primarily shading with entirely pencil, I focus a lot on just kind of letting my hand do what it wants. And it starts off with very light scribbles. And then those scribbles turn into forms, and then different scribble parts of the scribble end up being, I realize, the shadows in the future. And it's kind of a cool process. At the same time, it doesn't always make the most... Uh variety in what I make. But I ended up taking a little bit of a different approach than I normally would have if I was drawing something like this. I saw the opportunity to kind of make her more creepy and doll-like. Later on I added like I added shading to the eyes to kind of make them look more like buttons. And that was my thought process behind that. I pulled up some more questions today, just for when I did run out of things to talk about. And this one I kind of focused more on art-related questions, more than personal questions. Though I guess some art questions are personal. Some of these are personal. Like, one of these questions is, what inspires you? What inspired this piece or idea? And Sometimes when I do inspiration, I take inspiration from images that I see or I take inspiration from shows that I watch. However, like I said for this one, I focus a lot more on letting my hand do its own work. And so the inspiration behind these, I guess, is emotion. Right there, there's a huge jump in how far along the drawing is, and that's because my camera was only capable of recording very short segments, and I wasn't aware of that at the time, and I didn't keep an eye on it. It's okay, hopefully that problem will be fixed in the future, but this ended up having to be broken down into several clips. And the angle isn't the greatest, but I am working on it. I I'm doing what I can with what I have and what I've made. It's not the most flawless thing, and I'm sure I probably don't have as much energy. It's kind of been a long week, despite the fact that it's only Wednesday, and nothing bad has really happened. But emotionally, it's just been kind of draining. But that's, that's not something we have to talk about. A phone. I am trying to do something here. Can you not go blah, blah, all over the place? Okay, thanks. So, oftentimes when it comes to things like this where I focus primarily on letting my hand do its own thing, I guess the inspiration would be my subconscious. I don't know what this represents for my subconscious. Sometimes I know Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't figure out until once in a blue moon later I happen to look back on it and then I'm like, oh, snap, I know exactly what part of me this came from. I, this one I have no idea and I don't even know if this one really is a reflection of my emotions. I just kind of saw chances and I took them. And it's not flawless. I definitely could have pushed the shadows further, but I was nervous and on edge for recording this because I don't normally record when I draw. 
and I ended up trying to punch out some shadows later. Normally I would use my uh, Bic grip roller that I have, but I ran into complications that normally I just do that on things where I make line art, but since this one was all primarily shading, the graphite that was already down was too thick to do that, so it wouldn't go on top of it. So I had to use a sharpie. Oh, and I used my kneaded eraser to try and add some highlights, and I think I did too much of that. I should have erased less. Uh, I can't really change that, though. Because I didn't really... It looked fine to me at the time, except for... The Sharpie kind of killed some of the shadow. And I couldn't do a whole lot of line variation. But I mean, I did what I could. I'm still happy with it. I think she has the creepiness factor that I wanted. See here, I was trying to go with my grip roller. And usually it works great. It might be on its way out, though, which sucks, because I don't have another. I'll have to find a solution. Oh, yeah, that's where I gave up with it. And I decided to get or grab the Sharpie instead, and I went in with it. I definitely got darker lines. It was harder to control, though, and I wasn't happy that it was harder to control. Is there an element of art you enjoy working with most? I don't know exactly what you mean by element, well, I don't know what they mean by element of art. I, I'm kind of all over the place. I don't really know what I'm, I haven't really found my corner yet, so it's been a slow process. Here I did some cross hatching. Is that what it's called? Cross hatching? With the Sharpie to kind of emphasize where I lost some of the shadow. And I, I think the cross hatching helped. Maybe in some places I overdid it, like underneath the neck. Probably overdid it there. But uh, I think this is what killed it. When I started adding individual strands, I think it both helped and hindered what I was doing. But then I just kind of went in with this thing that I do a lot when I don't add a background is I'll just kind of add some little lines around them just to kind of separate them from all the white on the page because I'm lazy and I don't like doing backgrounds. They take a lot of effort and patience that I just don't have. Patience is one of my biggest flaws in art. I never have the patience to work through what I'm doing. And that's where I called it up. Oh, wait, no, I signed it. And then I called it done. And I threw it down and I was like, oh no, now it's in the way. Just scoot it over. And there you go. That's it. I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and remember, your spirit is near.